It is human nature to delegate the heavy thinking to others, to experts in their field. Heavy thinking consumes a lot of calories and evolution has predisposed us to conserve calories. It's a winning strategy under the right circumstances. Circumstances are about to change. Chaos will be unleashed. The end is nigh. My name is David Norman Ward. I am the author of The Mosaic of Time and Logic vs. Zombies. Although this is an incredibly simplified version of what I think, with a great deal of certainty, will unfold, I still remain annoyingly pedantic, and I choose my words carefully. The premise for Chaos Will Be Unleashed in the End is Nigh. The end of electricity is the end of civilization as we know it. No TV, no internet, no water coming out of your tap, no money out of a bank machine, no food, no help. We live in a solar system with a monster at the centre, the Sun. The Sun produces CMEs, coronal mass ejections, or solar flares. This happens all the time, and unless it's an extremely powerful solar flare like the Carrington event back in 1859, when telegraph wires caught fire, then there's not much to worry about, because we have an extremely powerful magnetic field or magnetic shield that protects us all. Or, we had an extremely powerful magnetic field. Do a search for the Earth's magnetic field is weakening ten times faster now. This is happening because the Earth's magnetic field is going to flip. The magnetic North Pole is currently heading for Siberia, Russia, and the South Pole is heading for Australia. The magnetic poles will meet in India, flip, and move to their new positions. North becomes South, and South becomes North. The Earth's magnetic field will continue to weaken all the way to the flip, meaning our magnetic shield will go down incrementally, so the likelihood of just an ordinary CME bringing down our electrical grid increases concurrently. A timeline for the flip? I don't know. Maybe 20 to 60 years, maybe less, maybe more. The event could speed up exponentially or take its sweet time. This is governed by a lot of unknown variables, so you will need to monitor this for yourself. But I can be reasonably certain that the lights will go out long before the flip happens. So, when will the lights go out? I don't know. Another Carrington event could happen tomorrow, but I would consider this unlikely just yet, although the probability will increase with time. July 2025 is an interesting time. The Sun has a magnetic field flip every 11 years or so. It's the halfway point to its solar maximum. So, what will happen? I consider the reasonable possible scenarios as, number one, nothing will happen. The magnetic field may just pop back into place and strengthen all by itself. Although preferable, I consider this more unlikely as time goes on. Number two. The magnetic field will collapse quickly. If so, there will be a quick societal collapse with all that entails. Three. If the magnetic field collapses slowly, well, scenario one and two, I would consider preferable for the survival and recovery of humanity. So, what can you do? I don't know. Having never personally experienced a Carrington event or multiple ongoing Carrington events, I can only guess and assume based on the possible scenario. I shall probably expand on possible survival strategies later. In the meantime, carefully do your own research and come to your own conclusions. And if you must use Google, then use Google Scholar. This is not secret or hidden information yet, but I assume this information will not be advertised or promoted in the consciousness of the great unwashed masses for obvious reasons, and it may be prudent to carefully select whom you pass this on to. Let me emphasize that this is THE prescient event. Anything else, I just consider noise, infotainment, and distractions. And finally, Enjoy yourself. It's lighter than you think.